Today we're going to talk about the pre-approval process when you're buying a home. Um, I'm going to let you know everything about the pre-approval process, what it means, what it entails, how does it benefit you. My name is Heidi Knowlton and I'm a local real estate expert and I'm here to educate you on the home buying process. At the end, I'm going to give you a tip when it comes to looking at your pre-approval and your loan. So I get this question a lot about getting pre-approved for a home loan. Um, first, you need to know that there is a difference between a pre-qualification and a pre-approval letter. Um, a pre-qualification is um, the lender didn't go into as much detail. So a pre-approval pre letter holds more value because that means that the lender went into more detail, looking at bank statements, looking at um, credit report, looking at income, um, tax, tax return, and stuff like that. So always shoot for a pre-approval letter. It's gonna hold more weight. Um, in order to get a pre-approval letter, you need to talk to your lender and they're gonna ask you for a list of documents and such as your W-2s, your bank statements, your tax returns, um, pay stubs for a couple months, and you need to send all these things over to the lender. You also need to fill out an application, and then they're also gonna, going to run a credit report. So once you get those things done, it usually takes a lender one to three days um, to get your pre-approval letter. Um, some lenders get a verification of employment up front which means they call your employer and they have to have verification of your earnings there. Um, that also makes your pre-approval letter stronger once that's done. Um, and when you go to write an offer on a house, you need to have this in place. Um, I see this a lot where buyers call me, they wanna start looking at houses, which is great, but they haven't taken the first step to talk to a lender. So that's really important that you talk to a lender first because it's like, we don't, we don't wanna be shopping in the blind. We wanna know exactly what you can afford and exactly what you want to um, actually pay per month because maybe you think you can afford $500,000 and then you find out what the payment is and it's a little bit higher than you want to be. So then we know we want to drop the purchase price. Even though like technically you could afford $500,000, maybe that's the top of your limit and we want to be more, maybe closer to $450,000. So it's really important um, to know your purchase price up front so we're not wasting anybody's time, especially the seller's time, especially your time out shopping for houses. And it's always hard to take a step down. Like what if we start looking at houses at $500,000 and then you only find out you can do 450 or $400,000. It's really hard to go from looking at a house that's $500,000 to looking at a house that's $400,000. Like it's really hard for a buyer to take that step back and it's really discouraging. So we wanna start off on the right foot, look in the right price range, look in the right area, make sure you can afford the payment and that you like it on paper. Um, so always make sure you do that step first. If you need questions about that, or if you have questions about that or need a lender to talk to, I've got plenty I can refer you to. So next question is, how does a pre-approval help you? So right now, especially because it's a seller's market, a seller won't even look at your offer unless you have a pre-approval letter. Um, like I said earlier, lots of times buyers come to me and want to write an offer on house, but they don't have their pre-approval letter. Well, nine times out of 10, the seller's not even going to look at your offer. He's going to pass you up and go on to the next offer that has a pre-approval letter. Um, it also tells the seller that you're serious, that you are um, that you are ready to go to buy a house because buyers that are serious always have a pre-approval letter. And it also tells the seller that you can actually afford their house and that you can afford the down payment and that you can afford the monthly payment and that you have all your ducks in a row and that you're committed to buying their house. And that goes a long way with the seller because they wanna know that you're serious and that you're really going to follow through with buying their home and go all the way to the end and close. And here's my tip, make sure you pay attention to what kind of loan you're getting. So many times the buyers don't know what kind of loan they're getting. This is important to know because certain properties don't take FHA or they don't take VA. It's important that when you get your pre-approval that you know if you are conventional or if you are FHA or VA, if you're looking at condos especially, some condos are not FHA approved, so you can't write an offer on those houses. So just make sure you pay attention to that. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, just comment below. All my contact information is down there and also be sure to subscribe.